Right, it is uh, November the 18th. Um, up here in New York, just arriving. I'll be pulling to camp in uh, a couple minutes. Got a little bit of snow flurries going on. Hopefully, uh, it'll at least leave a little bit on the ground tomorrow when I get out. It's always good. See what's moving, moving through. Um, so tomorrow is going to be the last day of bow for New York, and then on Saturday uh, is opening gun season in the Southern Tier. So uh, I'm going to be up here uh, until Monday. See if we can uh, make it happen. So uh, stay tuned. Okay. It is uh, it's the morning, the nineteenth of uh, November. So got up here. Close to bedding. It's the last day of uh, bow season for uh, for New York. Tomorrow is opening gun. Got some snow falling. Nice little blanket, which is good. That'll definitely help with the uh, visibility. as well as tracking. I just had a small, well, just had a spike come through with a big body. And uh, since it's the last day, and this is the last uh, year we can hunt this property, it's uh, anything goes, basically. I have yet to harvest a deer, so He was pretty close to going home with me, but uh, didn't really have a shot, so. It's still fairly early, so hopefully I got some more coming through on the way to bedding. So stay tuned. We got Cousin Todd coming in later this afternoon. Gonna get a afternoon hunt. Looking to have something on the meat pole before, by the time he gets here, though. A little picture of where we are. I just had my second encounter. It's a four pointer. I actually drew back on him and uh, tried to get him to stop, but he stopped right behind some uh, couple trees. Then he kept going. Guess he wasn't trying to ride back to New Jersey. Well, second encounter. Really feeling this location. So far, it's about eight. It's about eight twenty. First uh, spike came through about seven. The thing about this. Uh, this location I saw a monster a monster three weeks ago um, 
but I have seen probably a total of six spikes. That one right there that just came through was a four pointer, small four pointer. First opportunity I get, I'm releasing that arrow. See what happens. Just had an encounter with two does. She was literally 10 feet away from me and she was a little skittish. She knew something was up. But uh, she was right on the other side of this little small pine. And I'm right here. When she came around that pine, she looked right up at me. Now, I'm only about 15 feet up in this little tree. Um, I couldn't even draw back because she was just so skittish. So, some good encounters so far this morning. She thought she was that other buck, so I grunted at her. I think that's what alerted her to something's over here. And she was coming in real cautious, trying to figure out what was going on. But uh, once she looked up at me, she did not like what she saw. And uh, she took off, blowing with another deer. I think there was only two of them. Might have been three, but I think I think there was only two. I thought I saw three earlier, but I only saw two running away. All right. Got a bunch more hours to go, so stay tuned. Just trying to get Todd's gun dialed in. Put a new scope on. All right. Let's go see what we got. I think that's got to be a little left. I think it was me. Yep. I pulled it. Okay. I knew it when I was squeezing the trigger. So I'm just gonna shoot one more round, it's probably good. All right, and this one right there is the Savage, and that's at about 40 yards, so it's a little bit high, which is what it should be. I said I wasn't going to do any sighting in, 
because the savage is usually on and I only have about 65 70 rounds of that ammunition left and have not been able to find it for a full year but all I need is one per deer season here in New York. It's about 7.30. Got some shots going off pretty close by. Haven't seen anything yet. Sitting in the uh, power line stand. Apple trees still, so apples still on the apple trees. Hopefully we get some deer coming to them. Looks like it's gonna be kind of a nice day. I'm looking to shoot a buck today. We'll see how things go for the next couple days. <clears throat> so there's been a change of plans I said I wasn't going to shoot a doe until the last day and I saw this doe I had her at 40 yards 20 yards She went over by the apple tree and uh, she actually bed down in there for a while. And things started slowing down around here. Started thinking about I don't have any meat in the freezer. And I've passed up a bunch. So I thought I might secure some venison for the family. Although I'm pretty confident I'll have many other opportunities, but so anyway. By the time I decided to shoot her, she was about 90 yards away from 20 to 90. And uh, she, she went from here by the time I got the shot, got on her, she was up in that corner. So definitely hit her. She went crashing through up the hill so uh, I'll give a few more minutes so it looks like this is the point of impact got some blood got a little bit of flesh and the stand is 
way down there. So that's the stand I was in. And this is the point of impact. down there. We got blood here. Shoot in here. both sides of the tree which is good and there she is we got ourselves a dead deer she looked around here Size dough. All right, we got one, one in the bag. Day one gun season. Let's get this back. Get it taken care of. The season, open day gun season, New York. 105 yards shot and that's the any right in the boiler plate so uh, cousin Todd just went back out for the evening I'm gonna take care of this dough get her quartered this year's the first year you can't just take a whole deer back to Jersey so I'm gonna quarter her up and uh, debone her and pack her up and then Get ready for tomorrow. Looks like the same spike I saw yesterday. So it's day two, opening gun season. In the same stand I was yesterday where I shot that doe. Had a doe come in. Had a doe that was in here this morning. So it took me an extra 30 minutes to get my stand because she, uh, I couldn't see her, but she was stomping around. Knew that, knew that something was going on. But we're gonna see if we can find Big Boy today. So stay tuned. Okay, it's day two, afternoon hunt, and it is raining. I'd rather it be snowing than cold rain, but I'm in on blind.
so I'm going to stay dry. And uh, we'll see how it goes. This afternoon I saw the same spike I saw yesterday and the day before. I saw a doe that I'd never seen before. It had a really light coat. And I did bump something on the way out. I'm not sure what it was. So we got this evening and tomorrow morning and we're heading back to Jersey. So we'll see if we can get this uh, get this buck today. Not a whole lot of uh, shots going on today. So kind of slow all over. But that's, that's how it goes. Okay, it's the last day up here in New York. Morning hunt. Sitting on the food plot stand. Got in here a little late. So we're going to see what's going on. See if anything comes through. If not, I'm going to take a little walk, see if I can bump some things up. And uh, then about midday, I'm going to pack up and get back to Jersey. Got to go back to work tomorrow. It's a little cloudy today. It's supposed to be sunny and nice. It's snowing a little bit. See how it goes. Okay, got out of stand. About to take it in, but I'm gonna take a little walk first. Go up on this ridge, see what's going on. Right here, got an old, uh, it's called a sugar shack, where uh, they used to make maple, sh maple syrup up on this property. It has since uh, fallen down. So I'm going to go up here on this ridge and see what's going on and then I'm going to take it in. Well, that's a wrap. <clears throat> that's a wrap. Heading back to Jersey. One doe in the cooler. This one, this one here is done. This one here might run out before you leave. Oh, the heat's on in there? No. Nope. All right, Deer Camp 2021. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. We'll uh, we'll be back. We'd show you a doe, but she's already cut and quartered. She's in that cooler right there. Yeah. You know. But it was a good one. Just didn't see any anyone I could pull the trigger on besides that doe. I guess I'm glad I got that doe early. Cause uh crazy. Well, you still got a tag. I still got a tag. Might I might have to make another drive. I might have to do that. I might have or to do that. Or you get to state parks down there by you. I got I got Stewart State Forest. I got a bunch of places I go. Although 3M's got a lot of EHD going on, so I just got I did Is uh, that near you? That's, That's the one I used to go to Stewart State Forest. Uh, but I did check out a couple other zones that I could go to um, that aren't having EHD issues. So. It ain't open. No. It ain't just no opening weekend. Nope. Just opening weekend and Jersey got till middle of February. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the house. I know you will. <laughs> this is a good spot, though. This is a good, good spot. Too bad we're losing that one. Well, maybe... Uh... Mike over there. I got him picking some hairs and talking to the farmer he works for. So we might be able to land on something close by. Hopefully. Yep. Hopefully. We will see. Alright. That's a wrap.
Hi, heading home. New York Deer Camp. Pretty successful since I did uh, harvest the dough. Um, looking for that big boy I saw a few weeks ago when it was bow hunting here. And some of the other ones we had on camera, didn't see any of them. So, uh, saw some other bucks that I passed on, small bucks, spikes, four points, uh, a bunch of spikes. Uh, and passed on a bunch of does, but decided to make sure I was able to harvest something. So I did, uh, did shoot that one doe. But, good, good time all around. And, uh, stay tuned to, uh, hunting back in Jersey. This is the state land that is adjacent to Deer Camp, Keeney State Forest. Uh, actually, it's Keeney Swamp State Forest, as you can see. I told you daddy bring you home some venison. Huh. Yeah. I got some more for you. I'm gonna say that for later. Yeah.